Welcome back. This is our third lesson with hamburger buns and organizing the story from beginning, middle, and ending. I sure have been craving a burger lately, looking at all these juicy pictures of burgers, haven't you? I'm only going to glue the top little corner of this because that's the part that touches my orange card. This part touches, put it right there. This part touches, put it right there. This part touches right there. And this part touches right here. You can ask for help from your mommy or your daddy on this part. This gets a little tricky. You did it. Wow, now this is a hamburger I would love to enjoy. Miss Kristen's going to move this paper out of the way. We don't need it anymore, but we have two more things that we do need. We need this paper with some words and we need our plate. <laughs> We're going to put our hamburger on our plate. Let's do that now. It's going to be funny, but this hamburger is so big, it won't even fit on our plate. That's okay, just for fun, we're going to put it on there anyways. With a little bit of glue, I'm going to turn this part over and not glue my whole thing, but basically just the middle, because that's the part that touches my plate. I'm gonna press it down, but not too rough. And look, <laughs> it's my hamburger on a plate. That's funny. Now we're going to cut out our labels. If you need some help from mommy or daddy, you can get some. I'm going to cut out the edges first and then we'll cut out the words. These words will help us to know the words to describe each part. If we have them all like this mixed up, let's put them all in order. The beginning has to go on the top and the ending has to go on the bottom. Now, these four guys, they all say the same thing, supporting detail. They hold it up, they support it, they support the story. So they support it, they hold it up. It's a long way of saying, the part that goes in the middle, <laughs> right? Like the meat and the cheese and the lettuce and the tomatoes and the um, hamburger meat, right? Okay, so in the middle, there's one part that messed up. Miss Kristen put four details, but we're only gonna do three details. So you can take this one and crumble it up. Ha! All right, now throw it away. Bing. <laughs> okay, now we have three supporting details. One, two, three. Beginning on the top, ending on the bottom. Now we're going to glue them on. Beginning. He got, beginning. He got dressed for his graduation. Supporting detail or lettuce. Let's scooch this over here a little bit. Supporting detail. His sister wanted to graduate too. She wanted a hat, so he had to give her those bunny ears. Next supporting detail, or the cheese and tomato part. He couldn't keep his hat on. Remember his friend Jane had to give him one, uh, had to give him a clip for his hair and his hat. Then it held on tight. That's what friends do, friends help. Okay, last detail. What is it? The hamburger meat. He graduated from his school with, and he, 
He got his award from his principal. That's a good detail. Can't forget that part. Wouldn't actually graduate unless you got your award from your principal. And the ending. The ending is he's celebrating because he throws his hat up, up, up in the air. Let's put that on the bottom bun. Just a little sticky here. And we're done. Look at everything you made today. This is such a good job. Don't forget to put your name on here to show that you did such a great job on this work. And my big kids, this is where you are going to go deeper and write more of this on your graphic organizer page. Fill out the information and use your own words, okay? Use your own words to describe what happened in detail. Don't just say, Matt, put on his hat. You can say, one exciting school day, Matt was very happy as he got dressed in his room. He was getting ready for graduation. He grabbed his cap and gown and looked in the mirror. He was looking good. Next part. His sister Anne entered the room. She was so excited for graduation too, but it wasn't her turn. She wanted to grab his hat, but instead Matt kindly gave her another hat, some bunny ears so she could celebrate too. Okay, I want you to give more details than just basic, basic sentences, all right? Now, there's one more under here. It's just another chance for you to do this using another story, the topic, the conclusion or the ending, and three details that happened in the middle. And here's a fun one too, look at this one. Beginning, middle, and ending of a story. Look, there's the characters, who was in your story? Setting means where did it take place? So you have all these chances over the summer when you're reading different stories to uh, use beginning and middle and ending and don't forget, every time you have a hamburger, you can think about the top bun and the bottom bun and the three details in the middle. That's a great way to write a story or to organize stories. I'm very proud of your hard work today. Thank you for coming along for Tell a Tale Tuesday. We have one more exciting part for Tell a Tale Tuesday. It's coming up with Bingo.